Today's lesson is over angles and triangles in the goals to classify triangles by angles and by sides. A little bit of a long lesson. Several things to go over here. We will start with classifying triangles by angles. So an acute triangle is a triangle that has three acute angles. You can tell by a triangle that's pictured here. Okay, there's definitely going to be less than 90 degrees. And we're not going to ask you to assume any angle measures. You'll be given everything you need, but just to look at that, that's an acute triangle. A right triangle, triangle has one right angle. The right angle symbol right here kind of gives that one away. And in a right triangle, what type of angles are the other two going to be? Well, I believe you've learned before that all triangles are 180 degrees. So if we have 90 degrees taken up by the right angle, we have 90 degrees left amongst the two angles there, which means they must be acute, because both angles must be less than 90. And finally, an obtuse triangle. Here's a triangle with one obtuse angle. Okay, again, not given here, but you can tell that right there, that angle is definitely over 90 degrees, less than 180. So we're going to classify the following triangles by their angle measures. Feel free if you want to pause the video and try them on your own or stay with me. If you'd like, the first three, the first one, excuse me, 40, 60, 80, all acute angles must be an acute triangle. Number two, I look at the three angles and 45, 35, 100, that's an obtuse angle. This must be an obtuse triangle. Appreciate that. The number three, well, I see this right off the bat, 90 degrees. It must be a right triangle. So that was, that was classifying triangles by, by the angles. Now we're going to classify them by their sides. An equilateral triangle is a triangle that has three sides equal in length. The tick marks right here. So there's one tick mark on each side that tells you all the sides are the same length. An isosceles triangle has at least two sides of equal length. You can see those sides indicated here. There is nothing on this side I just circled. We are not going to assume any angle measures. All we know for sure is that the two of the tick marks, those are the same. So at least two sides the same. Isosceles. And then a scalene triangle. A triangle has no sides of equal length. There's nothing indicated, nothing marked on here. Therefore, it's a scaling triangle. So we'll classify these three by side length. You can see in the first example, we've got two sides the same length, which makes this isosceles. Make sure I spelled that right. Let me go back one page for a second. I did not spell it right. Spelling does not count, fortunately for me. For the second triangle, we have no sides of equal length. So this one is scalene. And then the last one, all sides are equal. So this is an equilateral triangle. Okay, now we're going to find the unknown measure in these triangles. Again, knowing that a triangle is 180 degrees total. So we know we've got one angle of 42 degrees. One angle here is 42 degrees. And the unknown. Come all together, we get 180. Combine like terms, 42 and 42 makes 84. We've now worked this down to a one step equation. Subtract 84 from both sides. It's gone. We've got 96 degrees left over. If you want to try that one on your own, feel free or stay with me as I go through it right now. We add up the other the given measures, 88 and 40. With the third, we must have a total of 180. 88 and 40 is 128. One step equation.
is this one? X equal to 52 degrees. All right, a little more advanced here. We have some variables involved. A little more algebraic. Find the measure of each angle. So again, no matter what, we know that all triangles must equal 180 degrees when we add up all the angles. <clears throat> so we have X, this first one. Then we have 70. I'm going to any order I want here. And then we have 3X plus 10. Add up those three angles, whatever they are, we'll get 180 total. So I'll combine like terms first. So my X and my 3X combine to make 4X. 70 and 10 combined to make 80. Put together, still a 180. Two step equation now, subtract 80 from both sides. That's gone. 4x equals 100. Divide both sides by 4 to get x equals 25. Now, notice the question. Okay, the question asks for the measure of each angle, not x. So we're not quite done yet. We take that 25 and plug it in for every x we see. So right there, while we know x is 25 degrees, we've got our 70. Now over here we plug 25 in for this x. 3 times 25 is 75. 75 plus 10 equals 85 degrees. And really easy to check this one. Go ahead and add up the three sides. 85 plus 25 plus 70, and that will, in fact, equal 180 degrees. So it checks out. Whole numbers, really, really easy to check. It's worth the time to do it. Finally, the last part of your lesson deals with the triangle inequality theorem. It sounds more confusing than it is just by the name. What it says that any side of a triangle is always shorter than the sum of the other two sides. It does not matter which side you choose to test, all three need to check out, and they all will work out if it's indeed a triangle. So for example, we have this triangle right here, 3, 5, 7. So what we're going to do is test all the sides. Okay, is 3 less than 5 plus 7? Well, 5 plus 7 is 12. So is 3 less than 12? It sure is. Now we test over here, is 5 less than 3 plus 7? Well, 3 plus 7 is 10. 5 is less than 10, so that works out. See where this is going here, the check mark kind of gives this away. Is 7 less than 3 plus 5? Well, 7 is less than 8. So all three sides, the theorem holds true. This is, in fact, the triangle. We have a 3, 5, 9 right here. Let's try this triangle out. You can already see the answer. Is 3 less than 5 plus 9? Is 3 less than 14? Yep, that side works. Is 5 less than 3 plus 9? Let's see, is 5 less than 12? Yep. Is 9 less than 3 plus 5? Well, 9 is actually greater than 8. So therefore, this does not work out because this side right here is not less than the sum of 3 and 5. Small numbers, take the time to check it, all three sides, and we'll test it out right here. So can a triangle have these measures? Well, the first one. Let's see. Is 4 less than 8 plus 2? Definitely, because 8 plus 2 is 10. Is 8 less than 4 plus 2? Well, is 8 less than 6? It is not. We're going to stop right here. Number 1 is not a triangle. Second one, let's test this one out, is 5 less than 6 plus 7, and it is. Is 6 less than 5 plus 7? It sure is. Is 7 less than 5 plus 6? Yes, it is. So this is a yes. Finally, our number 3 here. Is 6 less than 8 plus 15? Is 8 less than 6 plus 15? Yep. Is 15 less than 6 plus 8? It is not. Therefore, this one is not a triangle. This concludes your triangle lesson.